Hi friends, in this tutorial we will be configuring security for a Spring Boot application. For this I am going to take reference of my website javainews.com Go to the Spring Boot section. In one of the previous tutorials we had implemented Spring Data. So here we had exposed some uh, REST APIs which would insert data as well as display some data. We will be applying uh, security to this Spring Boot application so you can download this project from here this will be the starting point for this tutorial I'll be uh, developing this code further to apply Spring Boot security so import the project that we just downloaded as a Maven project in Eclipse so here we have exposed some REST APIs here to add employee to display the employee information it is list employees so we'll be applying spring security to this go to this tutorial spring boot plus simple security configuration so this is the project structure that we are going to create uh, in one of my previous post spring MVC we had applied uh, spring sec uh, security for this here in this post it can be seen that to apply uh, spring uh, security to an application we had to do quite a few changes to the filters and a lot of more configuration changes but applying security for a spring boot application is quite straightforward only a single uh, configuration file is to be written so let's begin with the implementation we'll first run the spring boot uh, application that we imported Start the application. So application has started. We'll go to this URL. So currently there are no employees in this. So we'll use the URL. Add new employee. So, yeah, currently we'll be having one employee here. Now, the first thing that we'll be making to the application is we'll be adding the Spring Boot starter security. This is the starter dependency for configuring Spring Boot security. So, we'll stop this application. Just remove this scope test from here. Now build this application. We'll again start this application now. The application has started. Now, if you go here and refresh this URL, we can see that just by adding the dependency by default, Spring. Uh, boot security has already been configured if we'll go here and if we'll check here it, here it will show that the default security password that has been generated so copy this the username will be user click on login and yeah so we have been uh, successfully logged in now so let us now configure our own custom uh, Spring Boot security configurations. So, for this, we'll be creating a new configuration named as security config. It will extend the web security configure adapter, and here it, it will override two methods. In one of the methods, you specify what is the username and password that we want, and also we are using in memory authentication for this example currently. Uh, here, we'll also define that if uh, once the user tries to access any URL. Uh, he will be uh, forwarded to the login.jsp page so let's create this class
next we'll create the login.jsp page this will create here let's build this application now let's start this application again so our application has started successfully next we'll again go to this URL and refresh it here so here we are successfully forwarded to the login.jsp page so in our uh, configuration we have specified the username as java in use and also the password as java in use so yeah we are uh, successfully logged in uh, the source code for this tutorial it can be downloaded from here i uh, hope you have understood this tutorial thank you